There has to be a winner in Glasgow tonight, and the winner takes it all. And remember, it's not the taking part that counts, it's the winning. Rangers further depleted by the more recent loss of Jelovic and Lafferty, so it's leaning towards Celtic if indeed these games can ever lead towards anyone. Maybe. Yeah, I think you're right, Ian. I mean, it's always difficult to, to call this one, but given the the experience of Walter Smith is without tonight, it's it's a huge task facing this, this Rangers side this evening, and whether to pull it off, I think it would be up there with some of the best results that Walter Smith has achieved in his career, and there have been a few. Emilio Izaguirre immediately on the receiving end. You never quite know what to expect in these games, but try the unexpected for starters. An early opportunity for Celtic here, though, who brushed Rangers aside on this ground in the SPL ten days ago and dominated with ten men in the first cup meeting at Ibrox. It's key to float it in towards Mastorovic, who was closely watched by Bartley and Papac. Here Kyle back in midfield for Celtic, and he was sorely missed at Motherwell at the weekend when he was suspended. Figuera has to react because Samaras is chasing this. Bergera has got away with that. Well, he should have dealt with him much earlier than he did there, Magic Bergera. But it's typical of the, the pressure that Giorgio Samaras has been putting on the range of central defenders over the last few games. They really have struggled to cope with him. An early corner for Celtic could be ominous for Rangers. It's key to take it, and not well, was waiting, but Edu took it away off his head. Commons trying to drill it back in, but Edu in the way. Well, he did well to get out as early as he, he did there, the other Rangers midfield. They're just important out. He didn't allow the cross to come across the face there, but just to start Celtic would have wanted here. And the one thing that Walter Smith will want to see tonight, Ian, is his team much further up the pitch. Rangers on the back foot already. Scott Brown, Biram Kyle, Mark Wilson, who went off injured at Fir Park on Sunday. Rated 50-50 for tonight, but he's there. And so is Charlie Mogrew, who made a blunder at Motherwell. Two blunders early on, and almost another there as Whittaker closed in. Here's Izaguirre, meantime, a major success, success story for Celtic. By Foster, but Izaguirre hangs in there. Really taken to Emilio Izaguirre. Well, he's your modern day fullback, isn't he? You know, it, I think the days of the giant fullback are over in that they're all five foot seven, five foot eight now, very quick footed. They all have a final ball. And this young lad has plenty of the qualities I've just mentioned there. his slack start at Motherwell, yeah. which cost them a goal. Well, I think he, he gives them better distribution from the back, and given the Rangers are playing with one up, they should be able to get Charlie McGrew on the ball, and the, the idea will be that he can step forward and pick a pass. Defensively, maybe not as sound as Ronya, but I can, un I can understand why he's in tonight. That's gone out. Celtic's 17 match on beaten run came to an end at Motherwell. Generally, lately, they have been in sparkling form. Key. The drops for Mastorovic. Now Kyle. for the game against St. Johnson after he played in Portugal, despite a bout of food poisoning. 
Here's Gary Hooper, and he's going to take on Weir again, and he skipped past him, but Richard Foster's pace will get him out of trouble and get him a free kick. Well, it's terrific cover there from, from Ricky Foster, because Bergera's taken out the game by the first touch here of Hooper. Quick change up through the gears to, to lose David Weir, who was reluctant to make a tackle there. Possibly thought he could have been looking at a red card, but look at the pace of Foster to get round and narrow it. Terrific defending. Good job, he's quick. Gary Hooper worrying Rangers again. His comments scored in both his old firm games, although he was taken off in the first cup game. When Fraser Forza was sent off, he was the one to be subbed. Key, Samaras has made a run. Away by Weir. free kick and will do now, referee waiting to see if there was an advantage. Well, I think the tackle from Bruguero is a good tackle, I think he penalised Stephen Davis. Stephen Davis was certainly having a tug at Collins. Callum Murray tried to let it go, but when he saw there was no advantage, decided to bring it back. Commons is left to float this in. Steered away by Bouguera. Over and out from Wilson. Neil Lennon's record against Walter Smith, rather impressive so far. Three wins in five. Walter Smith, though, hasn't lost many games here at the home of his rivals. And tonight, it's his final visit to Celtic Park as Rangers manager. Scott Brown. Mark Wilson. Samaras. Can't keep it in. Yeah, always getting away from him. They're always willing to, to go in behind, and I think that's the difference tonight. You certainly have a striker here who will make defenders turn at the other end. I'm not convinced that Duf can do the same thing. El has just much happier coming off and taking the ball in, and it's important that the likes of Davis and Edu are prepared to go beyond them. Rangers have picked themselves up after that sorry showing here in the SPL ten days ago. Advancing in Europe and thrashing St Johnston. Boosted, of course, at the weekend by a shock defeat for Celtic. You couldn't make it up with these two. Edu. Davis. John Fleck making only his second old firm appearance and due a decent performance for Rangers. Bartley across. On loan from Arsenal. Yeah, I think he'll be happier playing a little bit deeper in. Last time he was here, he sat just in front of the two centre backs. I think he, I think he'll be happier playing as part of that battling with the game in front of him. He was also booked early on. Clattering into Brown in his first old home game. Kyle strong in the challenge, as always. He can play a bit as well. Wilson now after Fleck committed himself, and it's a foul by Sasa Papach. Oh, first yellow card, I think. Is he going to his pocket, Callum Murray? Oh, he's having a think about it, he's giving himself time. And it's a cynical one from Sasa Papach, he knows he's skinned there. And I think Callum Murray, the referee, may well have done him a favour here. I think he's got off with one there. Just a warning. The Sasa Papach from Callum Murray. There are a few players a yellow card away from missing the quarter final tonight. I'll tell you about that as the game goes on. Another set piece scenario for Celtic. We've had a few of these already. It's key to float it in. 
And it's Charlie McGrew on the end of it. Well, he, he did well to win it between Whitaker and Bruguera. I don't think Alan McGregor can come for this. It bends away from him at the last moment there. McGrew just under enough pressure that he's not really getting it clean. He's off balance for the time he gets his head on it. Kyle. Brown. Kyle again. Away by Weir. Both all third teams are targeting a treble, of course, on the domestic front. Samaras. Bartley's presence enough. Well, I've got to say, I think the length of the pass here, Samaras, this shouldn't be as easy as it is for Samaras. For Celtic to pick him out like that in the channel, Rangers should be putting much more pressure on him than they did there. Well, I think that's what we'd expect tonight. I think Walter Smith would probably expect Celtic to have more of the ball. Number two baller providing his side can nick one. Whitaker got the better of his Aguirre. Now Elhad's chief returning to the scene of his spitting crime with Liverpool. And he's been mugged, much to the delight of the majority, inside Celtic Park. Edu, Whitaker, and Juve looking to escape Mulgrew, and Saluska's come a horribly long way for this. Nastorovic guards the goal, Saluska will be relieved, although Rangers maintain the momentum. Papac. Well, they, they get away with the Celtic, but Charlie Mulgrew's far too tight on Duff and the inside right channel, that's what caused the problem. Scott Brown. Georgio Samaras. And he ran into Davis. Edu gave it away to Mistorovic. Celtics, a record 34 times winners of the Scottish Cup. Rangers, 33 times. Close. He's a gear in. Screened by Whitaker. This is the South Korean key. Kyle. It's a little loose, and El Hatchchief shows interest. Celtic could be exposed here. Storovic sorts it out. Well, it's a good idea and it's a good offer there from Stephen Whitaker who made that diagonal run. Samaras leaping with Bouguera. Hooper gives it to Commons. Celtic on the prowl again. Whitaker advanced. Davis. Papac. John Fleck. Commons for Izagiri. Samaras. Scored twice in the new year, Derby at Ibrox. Taking on Bouguera and settling for a corner. Uh, Bouguera reckons not, but Samaras made no attempt to play it. He clearly felt it was a corner. And with Rangers playing with a back three, Bouguera can't afford to go out as wide as this. They're still covering that central area. The corner from Key, Mastorovic attacks it. Another corner, though. Oh, did it come off David Reid? David, really good defending by David Reid at the front post because Mastorovic looked favourite to win that. Is okay, but more of the same from Celtic. Key again, away by Edu, but only as far as Scott Brown. There's Commons. Yeah, difficult, difficult half volley under pressure. And a measure of his confidence, and 
You know, given the start that Chris Commons has made to his, his Celtic career, there's every right to be taking this kind of, of shot on. He has made an excellent start to his Celtic career. Mulgrew, hoisting that away from Duke. The first competitive clash between the old firm was in the Scottish Cup in 1890. Celtic won it in front of a crowd of just 2,000 who paid a sixpence to get in. Fast forward to the present day, and the world is watching. Bartley. Too high for Foster. Izaguirre. Commons. Scott Brown making a run. He's found him, but uh, no great support. Davis. Uh, you can see, even this early in the game, how difficult it's going to be for El Hadj Jeff. He's playing against Mogrua and Mostorovic. Mostorovic certainly a real physical presence, and anything that is knocked up to the striker, Mostorovic will certainly be applying the pressure. David Weir has found El Hasjuf. He's occupied by Mostorovic, though. It is going to be one difficult shift. I mean, just gutted when Nikita Jelovic tweaked his hamstring in training yesterday. Last thing they needed, and Kyle Lafferty, who they've been thinking for a few weeks, had uh, signs of tonsillitis, and that's been confirmed. Edu running onto this. Whitaker's going to arrive in the box. Chief's already there. Well, better ball than Whitaker's got a shot at goal there because Stephen Whitaker ran off his Aguirre. Really good break from Edu. Off the tight that I was talking about. They, they must be prepared to go beyond El Hadj Juf. But Whitaker is looking for a square pass here. He's lost his Aguirre. And a better ball inside. Rangers might have had a shot away there. Just coming into this without their top three scorers, Jelovic, Lafferty and Naismith, and you could say top four with Kenny Miller as well, who's over in Turkey now. Wilson. Key. He's a gear eight, who has been wonderful to watch this season. Chris Commons. Spinning away from Foster, who's brought him down. Well, it's a needless one there from Ricky Foster because he's running he's running into Magic Baguera, who's stepping out to make a challenge here. And although he's not yellow carded there, Ricky Foster, oh, Callum Murray will certainly have taken note of that. Celtic have had a stock of free kicks and corners. Time for another one. Commons floats it in, Bartley did well to send that behind, he was being fouled as well. Yeah, I think it's Callum Murray who's given the free kick, not quite sure whether the assistant had his flag up. Bartley does really well here because he knows Mastorovic is coming in his blind side, he knows he's going to be put under pressure, and he did well to deal with it. Enticing delivery from uh, Commons, but Mastorovic penalised for the foul. And Kyle Bartley, who was on loan at Sheffield United last season and in the first half of this season. He was actually at Bolton before he uh, went to Arsenal. Hedu, jostling with Brown. And Brown might get to this, he does! Can Bartley make a challenge here, Brown, unable to advance? Well, it's terrific recovery, pace here from the, the young Arsenal defender. Look at the pace here, it looked second favourite, as Scott Brown got in behind him. And he's made up two yards on the Celtic midfielder. Brown ran into where? Rangers having that kind of pace at the back end that they can't afford to defend a lot higher than they have been recently against Celtic. 
the times they've dropped off, they've considered far too much of the pitch. Kyle Samaras, one back by Bagheera. And a free kick for Rangers. It is the fifth of seven Old Firm showdowns this season, a record in one season. They will meet again in 18 days' time at Hamden in the League Cup final. One more SPL game to come, and Ibrox off offside against El Hadstu. Well, it is offside, but he's in acres of room there. The channel is wide open, that's why he's applauding the pass here. Look at the room he finds between Wilson and Mastorovic. So I've got to narrow that channel. Rangers twice ahead in the first cup encounter, twice pegged back. Charlie Mulgrew, Davis almost pinched it. Izaguirre, key. Wilson. Brown. Key. Commons. Izaguirre is available over on the left touchline. Mulgrew. Kyle. Celtic probing. John Fleck saw that pass coming. Oh, that's a really good read there from John Fleck. And very easy for him to, to get done with the ball on his inside there, but aware of the run, aware of the pass got himself back. Ineffective clearance from Bartley. Keys taking this one on! Close. Yeah, it gets the applause of the crowd, but it's never a problem here for Oliver McGregor. He puts his right arm up almost as a token gesture here. The ball's on, always on the way up. And to score from that range, he must be 30 yards out there. It's going to take something pretty special. He grew up in Australia, where his football coach was a Celtic fan. El Hatsju. McGrew, sticking with him for now. Davis. Weir. Foster. Whitaker. Hooked away by Mulgrew. Edu first to that though, now Juve. Edu again. Papash isn't going to get to it. Well, it's a pity there because Rangers built the game really well. And for the first time in the match, they've managed to get Foster and Papash into advanced positions. And you know, Neil McCann made the point earlier on that the Celtics midfield four at times do play quite narrow. Scott Brown in particular tucks in. And there is space for the two Rangers wing backs to get into. Weary of Hooper. Two point in the free kick, but he's nearly got a throw. He's having words with Callum Murray. Fleck. And that will be a free kick as Key takes out Fleck. Again, he could have been looking at a booking there, Key, and again, Callum Murray lets it go. Oh, he's lucky. He's well late there. A chance here for Rangers. Papas towards Whitaker. Away by Mistorovic. But only to Bugera, who has support from Foster. Not that it ultimately mattered. has uh, won the Scottish Cup five times. Two of those triumphs in the last three years. <laughs> Tripled away from Whitaker. Key. 
Mogru. Izagire. Whitaker closes in. Commons. Izagire. Goal kick. We are with Rangers again at the weekend. As they make the short journey to Paisley to take on St Mirren, you can see it from 12.30 on Sky Sports HD 4. And 4. Mogrillo's <laughs> header. Followed by one from Weir. From Edu, but uh, Weir is down. We've got to see how far the ball. I think it's Samaras who's coming to David Weir late here. Yep, definitely a free kick. Samaras can plead his innocence all he likes. I've got a diagonal either side here Bartley on the left and Baguera on the right. This first header is, is ever so important here. Davis seeking out Bouguera, who's up against Mulgrew. Hooper. Foster intervening. To prevent a break from Commons. Davis. Whitaker. Run into Key. Another bit of free kick as Kyle is tripped. Yeah, a trip by Stephen Davis. It may well have been accidental, but it's certainly a trip. All a bit untidy there. Stephen Davis just blocks him off unintentionally. Key. South Korean who looks a player. Stolovic, the giant Swede, 13 different nationalities in the starting 22. Well, nobody going beyond Samaras, and, and that's the point he's making. He's done his job there. He's won it, he's helped it into the channel, and Gary Hooper had dropped off so deep he couldn't possibly go beyond them. Mistorovic. Wilson. Brown. Key. Commons. It's a foul by Stephen Whitaker. And the first yellow card of the game goes to Whitaker. Well, he, he reckons it's unintentional here, Stephen Whitaker. Nice little give and go there from Key. I'm not sure that Stephen Whitaker can, can do anything to get out his way there. And he may just be unlucky that Callum Murray has decided that it's time he produced a card here. He's let worse than that go. Seven players out there are a yellow card away from missing the quarter-final if they get through. Whitaker, however, is not one of them. Lucas Saluska has come on as a sub in a couple of old firm games, but this is his first start. He was first pick at the start of the season, but looked fairly unconvincing. Before Fraser Forster came in on loan from Newcastle. Wilson, Kyle on hand. Davis. Foster. Come 
Simmons. A flick from Hooper, but partly steers it towards Edu. Good press, a really good pressure from Kyle. He looks at his very best in this particular fixture, right up his street. Wilson. Partly into the back of Samaras. Again, good pressure. Samaras survived, Kyle. Commons taken off his toes by Whitaker, who has Bouguera ready to run out. Juf gets the free kick. Well, it's not been particularly pretty, but some of the closing down, some of the work off the ball. Really is terrific. Juf with plenty to say. Well, I, you know, he, he's got his free kick. I mean, this is the problem that he gives himself and gives referees. He's got a free kick. Nobody's arguing. Swing, didn't he, oh, yeah, Chris Commons gets needlessly involved, but again, Duke just has to walk away. Well, the one thing of a noise that the teams, opposing teams, will try and wind Duke up. He should have sussed that by now. Should be used to it, that's for sure. Stephen Davis will take this. Pugera again, the target. And he's all over the back of Brown. Yeah, it's a poor ball. The ball is light. The getter wanted a knot in behind Scott Brown. It's always a little bit late for the, the Rangers centre back. Rangers did win here in October in the opening old firm encounter of the season, but Celtic unbeaten in the three meetings since. Fleck. Juve. Hurt. Kyle, though, is going to get back to his feet now. Emilio Izaguirre, he's going to have a run at Foster. Terrific from Izaguirre, but it's collected by McGregor. Yeah, it would have been a better cross had he knocked it in early with his left foot. When he checks back, the bend in the ball is always taking it towards Alan McGregor's gloves there. Juf. Foul by Mistorovic and a yellow card is going to come the way of Mistorovic. Well, I think it's the follow through that Callum Murray is penalising here. He's really on the stretch here, Mistorovic. Well, it takes nothing with his left leg, but it's the right leg that cleans Juf out. And he can have absolutely no complaints about that at all. Just managed to get his feet off the ground here. He knows the follow through is coming. He's up, had he been planted, it might have been a lot worse there. But that leaves Mastorovic with what an hour in which he can't afford to miss time another tackle. Davis delivers. Davis pops it back. And it's eventually cleared by Wilson. And that's Chief. He's welcome back on the pitch. Not. Chief chasing this with Milgrew. Commons. Davis, Foster for Papac. Terrible touch from Fleck. Kyle, it's trickled away from Hooper and David Weir can blast it out. Yeah, John Fleck. Everything getting away from him at the moment. The thing that you, you realise when you come into this game the first couple of times is that you just don't get the... The same time in the ball that you get from week to week. This is a total 
totally different pace of football. Oh, Whitaker already on a yellow card and lunging in there at Izagiri. And Stephen Whitaker is going to get a second yellow. And Rangers already depleted are down to 10 men. And he had a big think about this, Callum Murray. Yeah, again, he did. He took a long time, Callum Murray, to go to his pocket. But does Stephen Whitaker have to make this challenge? It's in a nothing area of the football pitch. But, you know, if you're Stephen Whitaker, just pull out of that. Don't go in for it. It's in a nothing area of the pitch. He's on a yellow card. He's mistimed it by a fraction. And how costly is that? Seven players out, ill or injured tonight. And Elhas Stuf is having a go here at the Celtic bench and Neil Lennon, it's all kicking off. A major flare of this. And the fourth official, Ian Brines, would have had an excellent view. Plus him to get involved. Elhas Stuf against Neil Lennon and... Ian Bryant is going to have to speak with the referee. Well, we always say, you know, this, this fixture is as difficult for the referee as the players care to make it. And all of a sudden, they've decided to make it a really difficult night for Callum Murray. Yellow card for El Hatchew. Verbals, no more than that. Fortunately enough, somebody gets between Neil Lennon and Elhas Duf. Elhas Duf then got a yellow card. He has to be careful, and this is not a game where it's easy to be careful, especially when you're Elhas Duf. Ian Bryan's in conversation with. Callum Murray, Bryant was in charge of the SPL old firm ten days ago, and he's, is he going to take further action here? Ali McCoist is first to be summoned. He tried to get involved, but Walter Smith seemed to hold him back. Well, I think Ali McCoist reacted to, to Neil Lennon walking onto the touchline to confront Elhas Duke. Neil Lennon, whose appeal against a six-game touchline ban will be heard tomorrow also spoken to. Will he stay in the touchline for now? In the touchline. This game has just come to life. Rangers, of course, down to ten men. Is a, another blow for them after losing Jelovic and Lafferty for this game. But it's still goalless. It's all part of the old firm fair. Yeah, still, still going with three at the back here, Walter Smith. The shape hasn't altered here. Just a man lying down at the centre of midfield. El Hasjif needs to uh, keep a lid on things now and not get involved in anything. And if you were Celtic, you would probably try to wind him up even further, I would imagine. Samaras now, skipping away from Edu, who recovers? Oh, he's given Samaras a chance, though! McGregor with a vital interception. Oh, that's a really good save. But Morris Edu gets off the hook here. This is a woeful pass back here by Edu, who did well here. But what a poor pass back to allow Samaras in. And however good the save is, Samaras should score there. Great spread from Alan McGregor. The chances don't come much better than that. and fiery and feisty 
it's the old firm. Rangers a man down. That's 12 red cards in the last 16 old firm games now. Most of them two Rangers. Celtic certainly busier in front of goal tonight. And we've seen that domination is only going to increase now with Rangers down to 10. Well, Rangers are masters at digging results out. This will be one of their best yet if they manage to sneak a place in the quarterfinals of the Scottish Cup. Stepped away from Fleck. He needs to up his game. He's a gear eight. Always menacing. And he has to go onto his right foot, but he still found Commons! Well, he did well to get the shot away. John Fleck trying to get back here to make the challenge, but how quickly? What a good first touch this is from Commons. And pulled the trigger really quickly. Costa, Kenny McDowell and Walter Smith, of course, will just want to get their, their team inside now at worst 0 0 at half time and figure out where they go from here. Indeed, it was a challenge that Stephen Whittaker didn't need to make that gave Callum Murray a little option, and there's going to be a card coming out here for. Scott Brown. Well, you know that there's, there's so much going on off the ball, and after the ball's on its way. Well, I say I, I don't see an awful lot in that. Scott Brown's been good for that. He has, well, and it means he will miss the quarter-final well, if Celtic make it. I'll tell you what, at times he's his own worst enemy, but <laughs> he's desperately unlucky there. Brown and Juve both on yellow cards, eh? Who would have thought that? <laughs> Bagheera. Away by Mistorovic. Packed by Papac. Terry Butchers in the next Kelly Thistle await the winners of this replay. And uh, there are a few treading a tightrope. As far as discipline is concerned. Brown will miss the quarter final if Celtic advance that far. <laughs> Samaras. Edu digs in. Brown nearly took him out there, but Edu's still going. Now, Chief. He's so flex short. Poor, really poor. Oh. Now, what card is this going to be for Fleck? Just a yellow. Well, I just wonder how much contact there is, whether he really catches Kyle. Senna leaves his studs there for Kyle to, to hit. And then I think the Israeli gets his feet off the ground. Well, as John Fleck's momentum for me takes him through there. I think once he's committed to the challenge, he can't pull out of that. All of a sudden, we went from no yellow cards to six, two of them flashed at Stephen Whitaker. A minute left in this first half. Commons has got Itagiri available, first time. McGregor has it. Well, by Itagiri standard, it's a poor ball, doesn't get the inside of his foot onto it at all then. Here the strike has nothing to go and attack. This is going to be a one monumental task now for Rangers, but if anyone could do it, they probably could, bearing in mind some of the results they've achieved, especially in European competition. Kyle, though. 
They're a beat Hooper to it. Davis steps in ahead of Brown. Fapach. It's going to be two minutes of stoppage time at the end of this first half. Two minutes, two minutes been added. Commons. Zagiri. Zagiri going faster the run around. Key now. Tripped by Davis. Free kick. Yeah, it's a fraction out there, Steve Davis, and this is certainly within range here for Celtic to go and work Alan McGregor. Lovely feet there from Key. Just beaten by the quick feet there, Steve Davis. And whether or not Celtic want to move this. They've certainly got to get something on target. McGrew may fancy this. This Commons lurking as well. As is key. Rangers will be hoping and praying they can get through to half time goalless. Regroup, rethink, refocus with 10 men. Potentially a massive moment. He or Commons. It's going to be key. It's over and out. Well, he had Alan McGregor moving his feet quickly. I think this goalkeeper starts just about dead centre. He's certainly worried enough that he, he had that hand up fully extended. Miles on the Celtic bench, they have a man advantage. It's half time, a flurry of cards towards the end of the half. He got a yellow after a set two with the Celtic manager. Scott Brown was also booked. And those two yellow cards could be ominous, and they're all having a go now as the players make their way down the tunnel at the end of a tetchy first half in which Stephen Whitaker was sent off. And Johan Mielby in the thick of it there. Kyle Bartley reacted to him and Maggi Bouguera acting as a peacemaker here. The Rangers have made a change. Kyle Hutton has come on for his first appearance since a substitute's role in the new year Old Firm derby. He has replaced the very ineffective John Fleck. Celtic start the second half to a chorus of you'll never walk alone. They were down to 10 men in the first cup clash between the sides, yet still dominated. Rangers now down to 10 after Whitaker saw red. Whitaker receiving two of six yellow cards flashed in the final quarter of an hour of that first half. And remember Brown and Juve both on a yellow. told to calm down, but that's easier said than yeah, done. Yeah, I'm sure they have been told to, to calm down. It's a surprise me if Strathclyde police it or not on the either dressing room, just reminding them of what's at stake here. Wilson. Kyle. Izagiri. Chris Commons. by Weir, Davis. They do. A batch for Kyle Hutton, who played in a couple of big Champions League games. He's going right into the central area, I think he's the one who is he's going to sit just in front. The, the problem Rangers have is getting support up to, to DF in it. It just depends on, on how much energy that Steve Davis and Adrian in particular have to try and get them, you know, they're, they're going to be working box to box. Celtic, you'd expect to have most of the possession.
and Rangers are going to have to do a lot of legwork here and much will depend on how much they handle it. Edu. Stanovic beat Juve to it. Izaguirre pushed that past Foster. Hooper let it go and it's going to come here to Wilson to hit it. Brilliant clearance off the line, but he's going to have another go. And it's in this time! He's suddenly scoring loads of goals. Mark Wilson, at the second time of asking, Celtic jump in front. Well, at long last, Izaguirre gets down the outside of Foster, who's handled them really well tonight. But he gets the chance to throw an early with his left foot. Papas does well to match the run of Brown. And how's this for a clearance from Papa? Magnificent clearance. And Mark Wilson will if anything. He hits it down into the ground, gets a little bit lucky. But I'll tell you what, in this fixture, you take every break you can get. And at long last, the deadlock is broken, and Celtic have asked a major question of Walter Smith's side. Three goals in six games now for Mark Wilson. And that was after he went six years without scoring. Remarkable. Celtic Park is jumping again. Celtic in front early in the second half against the ten men of Rangers. And there's still treatment being given here. treatment here for Papac, an extraordinary clearance yeah, off the line. It really was, it was a wonderful clearance, he took it absolutely flush. Well, he probably doesn't know Rangers are a goal down yet. <laughs> he's got to hope he's OK, he looks really groggy here. Well, Mark Wilson got his foot right through it. Sasa Papac probably doesn't know but the deadlock has been broken here. What a clearance on the goal line it was. And if anything, the one that beats Alan McGregor is a total misser. The first one he couldn't have struck any better, the second one he gets lucky. But does that matter to those Celtic fans? Not a bit of it. Not with El Chief in their midst, that's for sure. But this doesn't look too good for Sasa Papac who uh, has already been out with concussion this season. An incredible clearance, but Wilson came back for more. Uh, you, you see the force in the shot there from Mark Wilson. It's caught him absolutely flush in the forehead. A wonderful clearance. Fortune favoured Wilson at the second attempt. The Rangers, having had Stephen Whittaker sent off, we're going to have to bring on Greg Wilde now because it looks like game over for Sasa Papac. They already had seven players missing for this one tonight. Greg Wilde has looked quite lively when he's uh, come on in games. He was actually at Celtic until the age of 15. And Sasa Papac is stretched off after... A magnificent clearance. Which probably deserved to prevent a goal, but Celtic and Mark Wilson still managed to score. And it's going from bad to worse for Walter Smith and Ali McCoist. Nikita Yelovich tweaking a hamstring in training yesterday. Kyle Lafferty, tonsillitis. Lee McCulloch, who relishes these contests, also out. Stephen Naismith suspended. Vladimir yeah. Vice injured. He must have broken a couple of mirrors recently, Walter Smith, because it, it, you're dead right, I mean... You, you take the good with the bad in football, but all of a sudden, all of, of Walter Smith's bad luck has manifested itself when he, when he least needed it. It will be a monstrous achievement if they can pull a result out of Celtic Park tonight. Bouguera takes it. Papac is conscious now we're here, although extremely groggy. Walker's header, 
could give Zaluska a problem, he's nearly into the net, given a little barge by Duke. Well, he's every right to try and put pressure there on Zaluska. Again, Charlie Mabu, I don't know whether he got a shot or not, but he's almost done his own goalkeeper. Commons. Corner. Uh, you know, the problem in this noise in that even if Zaluska did give Charlie Mabu a save, a, a shout, he probably didn't hear it. He certainly wasn't over the line. It's not a corner, it was offside against Commons. Selling a goal to the good. the Scottish Cup since Neil Lennon's last game as a player in 2007 when he was subbed by Gordon Strachan against Dunfermline. They will surely have no excuses now if they don't make it through to the last eight of this famous competition. Charlie Mulgrew. Samaras. Foster. And Gary Hooper speeding towards that. McGregor's clearance only goes to Brown. And he's fouled by Hutton. Callum Murray on the 10 yards away. He's not going to get away without the youngster. Wilson, the goal scorer and enjoying a scoring spree, as unlikely as it seems right now. Foster's overrun that. Davis. surrounding this game and the match itself. It's good pressure from Rangers. You know, that's, that's the chance they have to take. They have to try and meet Celtic as high up the pitch as they can. Button. Jamie Ness, of course, another absentee for Rangers, who scored that screamer in the first cup meeting. Commons for Hooper. Wilson. Wilson went over 100 games without scoring for Celtic. Three in six games, astonishing. Davis, all of the midfield players now are the, are the ones who you'd, you'd imagine would be told to go beyond. And there's no point in, in Duke helping on if, if nobody's going to take that risk. He's a gear eight. Key. Brown. Wilson. Rick Wilde keeping an eye on him. Brown. Kyle. Key. Probably bring Isagiri into it. Bouguera out to deal with Hooper. Brilliant from Bouguera. Not so good from Juice. Davis. Stephen Davis taking it to Celtic. Oh, not quite early enough. Not quite early enough. But that, that's what Rangers need. What I say to breaking his neck there to, to go beyond the Celtic centre backs. Stephen Davis just didn't spot him early enough. It's a foul by Nazi Bouguera, and he's going to receive a yellow card here, which, if Rangers were to make it through to the quarterfinals, would mean he'd miss out at Inverness. Again, you know, it's in a nothing area of the pitch. Well, that 
no, that's crazy. That's uh, another yellow card flash by Callum Murray. I'll tell you what, Callum Murray wouldn't have left the house tonight if he had known what he was in for. You know, it, this is totally needless from Bruguera. It's a poor challenge from Magic Bruguera. He'll be hoping there's a quarter-final to miss, though, in Inverness. Extremely painful for Gary Hooper. Yeah, he took Bruguera's full weight on his left ankle. Looks like they might... Yeah, stretcher. Well, I think Georgia, yeah, Georgia Samaras is, is certainly showing out to the bench. But Gary Hooper's race has won here, his game's over. He's up on his feet now. Horrible challenge on Hooper. Seems to be hoping the damage is not too serious. Well, you, you know, you look back at the goal, Ian, and I think up until this ring, this had handled. Celtic school back pretty well, but all of a sudden, Isa Gary gets down the outside, and Mark Wilson on the other side has broken his neck to make the, the crucial contribution in the match so far. And that's what we spoke about before the game, the ability of Celtic to get the two fullbacks as high up the pitch as possible, and boy, did it pay off. Papac paid the price for that goal line clearance, stretch it off. Samaras. Bergera has won it back. Of course, Samaras has lunged in on Bergera. It's a tidy tackle from Key. Weir. Harry Hooper wants to come back on. Kevin Murray hasn't uh, noticed as much yet. It's because he's on the far side, no fourth official to tell him. Assistant referee busy. Hooper wants in. Samaras. Hooper finally allowed back on. Samaras. Kyle. Wilson. Izaguirre stopped this time by Foster. Yeah, I mean, by and large, I think Foster has played Izaguirre really well this evening. He got away from him once. It was that one time that mattered. Chris Commons. Oh, Rangers had to be careful there. Maybe this time tackle. Would have been a worry. Bagheera on a surge. Gary Hooper. And Charlie Mulgrew with the challenges. out Samaras but Bartley blocks him oh, big appeal for a handball there from the Celtic supporters certainly from where we are we can't see it but either way Bartley again shows terrific pace Samaras looked as if he might have got a shot away here Bartley gets across really well but I don't think he knows anything about that and the ball has travelled such a short distance and they've been amazed at Callum Murray or his assistant given anything there from Wilson, Samaras now, putting the pressure on, Key! Well, again, he has Alan McGregor scrambling. I think it's probably moving left to right, we'll certainly see from this angle. It's a little bit too much cut spin on it, and it takes a very late move away from that right-hand post. But every chance he's had from that range tonight, Key's pulled the trigger. Celtic, but you know, at 1 0, Neil Lennon's been round the block often enough to know it's never over at 1 0, and he will be looking for that second goal to give Celtic the cushion. Davis is going to be ticked off by Callum Murray for that.
Commons. Brown. Isagiri taking on Foster again. Oh, it's come off Isagiri. Goal kick oh, again. Foster does well. Now, Ricky Foster is quick enough to show Isagiri the outside. Quite happy to show him down the line. He knows he's quick enough to stop the cross coming in. He'll be enjoying this. Celtic legend Billy McNeil, who is 71 today. Happy birthday. And he won just the seven Scottish Cups. What a poor effort. Eh? Key. Brown. The modern day captain. Samras away from Bartley. It's off the post incredibly. Foster has given Commons a sniff. Baguera charges across. Oh, what a terrific effort. Colin McGregor almost done it his near post. And Bartley on that occasion just not quick enough to match Samaras, who made the run from, from in to out into the channel. Timed it perfectly. That's a wonderful pass from Brown. Bartley one side. And Alan McGregor almost done at his near post here. Weir, Juice, Davis, ah. now Davis has given it to Edu, will it reach Juice, Greg Wilde lurking but Scott Brown wary. Wild. Samaras. Isagiri. Samaras. Hooper. We're away to Edu. Murray gets a touch. Commons. Key. Kyle, why not? Deflected. And uh, McGregor stops it going for a goal. Uh, you know, Bartlett was prepared to, to go and throw himself in front of this. Maybe they strike him. Off the, off the arm. Celtic as a youngster when Ayal Berkovic, his fellow countryman, was in the uh, team. Wild looking for Juf, Astorovic across. Wants the goal kick, and he's got one. Oh, there wasn't much Juf could do with the ball forward. Next up for Rangers, it's a trip to St Mirren on Sunday. 12.30, Sky Sports HD4 from the SPL. Will their triple dream have evaporated by then? Triple as far as domestic trophies are concerned, of course. Still in the Europa League. They'll be hoping that uh, Jelovic will be fit for the League Cup final, but that's only 18 days away. Brown, Wilson the goal scorer. Snapped away by Bouguera. Izaguirre. Commons. Izaguirre. Davis. 
Can't get it away. Commons, Brown. Gary Hooper. Samaras makes it in the room. It spins towards Izagire. Key. Foster. Now Davis. Has to wait for others to catch up. Greg Wilde. Good tackle, had to be turned perfectly there. Celtic wouldn't have expected Rangers to throw in the towel here and not have they. And at 1-0, they're still well in the game, 10 men or not. Chief grappling with Mulgrew. He's calmed down a bit, but he had to. There was no option. Commons has won it back. Kyle. Brown. Wilson. Still going, Wilson. Samaras! Weir and Bouguera into him. Yeah, between them, really good defending from Weir and Bouguera. But it's just coming back at Rangers now. Starting to look a little bit tired, a little bit ragged for the first time in the match. Davis is down injured. Kyle. He's done a decent thing. Although not many rounds here probably thought it was that decent thing. Of, dead right. of course he's done the, the right thing. I just caught Steve Davis in the top of his right foot there. Smith will certainly want to see Steve Davis back in his feet. He's running out of place here. Davis, who has never lost a Scottish Cup tie, and this is his 17th. Just over 20 minutes remaining. Rangers down to 10 men. Whittaker recarded in the first half, and then they lost Sasa Papac in trying to block that goal. As we've mentioned, a long list of absentees anyway this evening. But they've got deep before many a time. And it remains just one minute. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, and even if, if Rangers were to pull this off, and it would be quite remarkable if they were to win this tie, it's the knock-on effect going forward for Rangers in terms of their, their SPL title bid, their, their Europa League campaign. A lot of Smith players are dropping the flies here. his final season as Rangers manager he will be replaced by Ali McCoist that was confirmed this week although everybody seems to know it for quite a while Davis returns. Rangers still in with a shout. But they need to ask more questions of Zaluska. And some questions. One smile from Hooper. Being nice for a foul on the wheel. He's not had a chance tonight, Gary Hooper. Not really had a sniff. For that, and it's come off Hooper. As it stands, Celtic will be off to the Highlands on Sunday week to face Inverness Kelly Thistle in the quarter finals. And David Weir with that challenge. Yeah, he's laid there, David Weir is trying to win the ball. Gary Hooper. He's back up like a rubber ball, he's not badly hurt here. Good pressure from McGrew initially. A 
McGregor mindful. Commons and Key over the free kick. It's Key to take it. Away by Bartley. Now Bouguera. Come back by Kaya. There's been a real find for Celtic. Wilson. Hooper. Storovic and Weir chasing this. That's a foul by Mostorovic. I think it's quite he's quite clever there, David Weir. He knows Mostorovic is going to lean in. And he just delayed. He could have tried to clear this, David Weir. He knows he's coming. I'll take the free kick, he says. They just do have David Healy on the bench. He might well be used as the seconds tick away as they search for a goal. An attempt on goal. Key, Samaras is away here. Other options available. Brown. Wilson outside of him. Key. Kyle. Izaguirre. Davis. Can't prevent the cross. Samaras is headers. Easy for McGregor. Well, it's a terrific ball in from Izaguirre. Slightly behind Samaras. Just too quick for Steve Davis down the outside the full back there. Juf up against Mulgrew, and the free kick is going to Celtic. And Juf for it like this. I think that's a worry for Walter Smith, and I'm sure he spent much of half time trying to get El Hatch Juf calmed down. His worry at the moment will be that Juf just loses it, and Rangers end up with nine men. It's hard enough for them at the moment with ten. He's just got to keep his head. How many times have we said that about this, this boy? The impression is going to be lively in that tunnel at the end. Brown. He's a gear Wilson. Key. Kyle. Commons. It's a foul by Magic Bouguera, who has been. But Foster has kicked the ball away here, has he? Foster's not a good card. Magic Bouguera was certainly concerned for a moment there, and he thought the card was, was coming his way. It's a tight challenge there in Commons. It's Davis is getting a yellow card. And Davis would miss the quarter final, but that seems a long way away anyway for Rangers right now. Promising free kick. Especially with Mulgrew and Commons and Key lurking. And we train with intent. Commons! Now the big target is on Alan McGregor's right hand side, but from that range, he did an exceptional strike at the ball there. This was a free kick that cost Steve Davis a, a booking here. Can only be for, for the set. Pagera <laughs> will get a free kick on Hooper. You can feel the tension around this place, this famous old ground. Walter Smith has come downstairs. For the last time at Celtic Park. Can Rangers rally? Wild. Away by Mulgrew. Key. Commons.
Spurs still haven't mustered an attempt on goal. They'll have to gamble soon. Commons. Celtic seeking a second. Izaguirre. Snuffed out by Foster, but it's a corner. Oh, it's been a terrific contest on that side of the pitch, and I don't think Izaguirre was expecting the corner there. Well, that tells its own story. Callum Murray having none of it, but Izaguirre felt this was a goal kick. <laughs> I don't expect a corner for Celtic. Cruel on Rangers. Takes it. It's going to come back in his direction. Comments again, that is inviting. Somers makes some sort of contact. It's just coming in over the back out of Bruguera. Cross takes Bruguera out the game. Again, Alan McGregor's got the decision. Can he come for that? This one here from Chris Commons is in the air a little bit longer. Again, it's bending away from the keeper and he has to rely on Bruguera. Celtic haven't conceded a goal here since before Christmas. Best part of Nine and a half hours of football. If they maintain that uh, record, they'll be in the last day of the Scottish Cup. Rangers remain hopeful with just the one goal in it, though. Mastorovic. Izaguirre Commons Kyle Wilson Bartley Wild Hutton, given away to Kyle. It's been an arduous evening for Rangers. Well, they've had to do so much legwork since they, since they went down to 10 men. And at this late stage of the game, there must be a lot of tiredness out there. Samaras, one back by Bouguera. Trapped by Samaras. Wild. Edu onto this. Davis. Charlie Mulgrew can bring it out, but he's given that to Bartlett. Oh, he's just got to knock it long there, Charlie Mulgrew. The only pass he doesn't want to make there is one that gets cut out because it's too short. Anything over the top is fine, even if it goes out for a throw. Brown, Key, Samaras, Key again looking to unlock the door via Izaguirre, taking on Foster, fancies it, cracking cross, Bartley just ahead of Samaras, a terrific defending, wonderful ball in from Izaguirre, Davis, Tenacious. 
so determined. Hooper now for Brown. On to Wilson. Brown again. Well, Morris said he's got a head injury here. I don't think Callum Murray has spotted him. Otherwise, he would have stopped it. Well, Celtic support is not happy, but... Ripley has no choice here if it's a head injury. He's been caught in the back of the head. As he caught his... Then I'm Kai out. Catches him with his knee there. That's clear enough, and... Certainly justifies Callum Murray stopping the play. Rangers in the wars tonight. Over their face in the uh, crowd here, Fergus McCann. It was quite a time when uh, he was a ruler of all things Celtic. Okay. Rangers are running out of time as they look to stay in the Scottish Cup. They've only lost once in four years in this competition. Dundee United last season in the quarter-finals. Times a Scottish Cup winner, but that might be that. He might have to declare on five. Kyle Samaras. Bagheera gets a free kick off Samaras. Bagheera won't react here, he's already on the yellow. He's not been short of energy. Bagheera has it. He's still going strong, he's not forgiving this up. Fans won't be giving up on their ten men just yet. We've seen them leave it late before. Hooper. Oh, Foster took him out, but advantage is played. It's going to be a corner. Uh, but Callum Murray would have been looking for Ricky Foster there. He clattered Hooper on this side here. Murray. I don't think Adik Welch having a walk with him there. No, he's going to book him. Well, he knew what was happening there, Ricky Foster. He knew anything that was slid in behind Rangers were in trouble. Nine yellow cards this evening. Rangers have had seven of them. Two of them flashed at Stephen Whitaker in the first half. And that led to red, of course. Into the final five minutes, Key's corner, Samaras leaping, came off Hooper. Rangers still hanging in. Wilson. Kicked by Edu. Oh, free kick, I think, given. I'll be surprised. Less than five minutes to go if Celtic put this in the box. Storovic looks like he's going to go up for this. Yeah, it does. That surprises me. No groove as well. Celtic want that second to finish off their old firm rivals. Commons away by Weir. Kyle! Away by Weir again. Now Davis on a break, and Bartley's steaming through the middle. El Hatschew playing catch-up as well, Bartley's in the box. Davis has a look. And Chris Commons made up great ground to get back there and was promptly fouled by Jew. Yeah, Steve Davis just couldn't find the right ball at the right time. And the support is terrific here. Bartley breaking his neck to, to get into the back post, but nothing to attack there. This cross just too heavy, he's got plenty of time, Steve Davis. And it's a tired effort. He'll point to the fact that there are some very notable absentees this evening. <laughs> and 
They just simply cannot afford to have seven players out injured. Can't even afford to have two or three, actually, with their tiny squad. And of course, they lost Stephen Whitaker to a red card in the first half. Sasa, Sasa Papac knocked out. Rangers themselves could be knocked out soon. Celtic in no rush here. On the verge of victory. Samaras. Kyle. Samaras clipped by Edu. Yeah, he used his body really well there, George Samaras. Screens this well, Edu can't get near it without going through him. Charlie McGrew looks as if he's going to take this on, and the last place he wants to put this is in Charlie McGregor's gloves. Two minutes of the 90 left. <laughs> well, Matt Wilson wants it wide, and little wonder, he just wants to take it into the corner. Taking his time, placing the ball. And Scott Brown has just uh, yeah. mentioned that they should give it to Wilson. Yeah, and Milgrew does go for it, but uh, comfortable from the Gregor. Well, I don't understand that, you know, it just gives Rangers a chance to, to break here. Should have been knocked into the corner. Bartley is playing up front now, the on loan Arsenal defender. He gets a throw off Davis. And we're in the last minute of the 90 now. Rangers need a fair old whack of stoppage time. And the uh, word from the touchline is that there may well be five minutes of stoppage time. Rangers chop shy so far. And they snatch an unlikely equaliser. Boris Edu gets bogged down a little bit. He does have support from Greg Wilde. And Wilde will get a free kick and a yellow card is coming out here for Mark Wilson and he'll miss the quarter-final. Well, he knows if he's done for pace. It's a cynical free kick. But I, I don't think Neil Lennon will have any complaints. He'll be quite happy to... To see Wilson take a yellow card here under suspension. It gives Celtic a chance to get goal side. Young Wilde was breaking into a very good position. It is five minutes. Wilson will be suspended for the quarter-final, like Scott Brown, if Celtic make it. And it could still be an if, because Rangers have a chance here. El Hatschuf to float this in. Storovic away. Big header at this stage in the mark. Huge header. Kyle. Typical of his energy that he should be chasing that. Still time for Rangers. The Rangers goal hasn't looked likely this evening, but it would be typical of them to have a say yet. Samaras though. Nice time to gamble. Aguera, partly Edu and Juf, like a front four at the moment. Celtic give it back to Rangers, though, rather needlessly. Weir. Aguera in front of Aguera. Rangers get the throw. Still a fair chunk of stoppage time remaining. Foster's throw. This kick from Key. Davis. Over towards Edu. Well, oh, it's knocked into a good area there, Edu. I don't know whether it, it was an accident or not, but it's into a terrific area. But nobody was double-exed. 
it to make the run into the central area there for Rangers. The Celtic fans certainly feel their team has done enough. On by Bouguera though, partly now, and he's been fouled by Kyle. Well, one last chance here perhaps for Rangers. And whether they're not a diagonal in or whether they try and get a shot away, they have to, to watch Zaluska here. This would be something if Rangers were to equalise. Zaluska's had a, one of the quietest nights of his life. Suddenly Celtic aren't too sure that they are in the quarter-finals. It's two. It's easy for Zaluska. Oh, desperately poor has on the description. That deserves. Somebody else might have fancied having a go there. Bouguera. He's already on a yellow card. And he's going to be off. Callum Murray and Rangers are going mad here. They're going mad because Maggi Bouguera gets a second yellow. And he's sucked the yellow away. And he's going to be off as well. They're down to nine men. Oh, he's just lost to him, Maggi Bouguera. And he's got a chance here. He knows, he knows the game is gone. And he's had a chance to, to leave his calling card in Chris Commons. And he's taken it. And he knew what he was doing. gives Callum Murray no choice there. He says he took the ball, but he goes through comments to get there. And that's a no-brainer for Callum Murray. Hard to put Callum Murray's hand down as well with the yellow card in it. So Rangers finishing with nine men. Did that last season in the League Cup final, but still won it. It doesn't look like they are advancing here, and Kyle Hutton now on Scott Brown. And it's going to be a yellow card for Hutton as the card count increases. Well, Callum Murray will be glad when he, he can finally blow for full time here. Time is almost up. And Rangers heading out of the Scottish Cup. Samaras. It is over. Neil Lennon's Celtic advance to the quarter-finals of the Scottish Cup. They'll be heading to the Highlands to face Inverness. Cali Pistol and Neil Lennon and Ali McCoy are squaring up now. McCoy still will take over as manager at the end of the season. And everyone has to step in to stop that major flashpoint. Walter Smith shooting Neil Lennon's hand. Neil Lennon had a word than Ali McCoy here. What, what was said, I've no idea. Then it kicked off. I don't know what you say about this. This is a guy I feel sorry for, Carl Murray tonight. And what a good game he's had. I think I think El Hatch Juve might have been shown a red card there as well, by the way, as it all kicked off at the end. El Hatch Juve got a red card at the end, so three red cards in all for Rangers. An extraordinary end here. Stephen Whitaker red carded in the first half. Matty Bouguera the same near the end. And El Hasjouf has got one after the full time whistle.